Right, welcome back. In case you're just joining us, it's still money line with Nancy. Just before we go home for the weekend, I did say I earlier on that it's customer service week. Mm. Abiodu Ido, a customer service expert, is joining me right now. Good to see you, Mr. Ido. Or oh, good to meet you. Yeah. That's the first time we're meeting. So good to meet you. How are you doing today? I'm good. And uh, nice to meet you too. Nice. Uh, where do we start from? You know, we're just talking just a few seconds earlier before during the break. Yeah. That We've not started here in Nigeria when it comes to customer <laughs> service week. Okay, let, let me start by asking this question. What, w should there be a, a hula baloo about customer service? That sh should there be a big deal about customer service? Yes, there should be a big deal about customer service. And if, you, if, 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 you, if we look at the definition of what is customer service, you discover that customer service is an act of providing, I mean, taking care of customers' needs by providing and delivering professional, helpful assistance, quality service and assistance before, during, and after a customer's requirements are met. Now, what you see is this. In Nigeria, the awareness is not just there. A lot of organizations, they set up those organizations and they believe that the organizations should run by themselves. And at the end of the month, the employees that you employed will be paid salaries. But the value added to the business is so small compared to your expectation. So what organization needs to do now is to give attention to good customer service training strategies. They need to develop it. And if you ask me, in Nigeria today, you hardly see any organization that is providing and at the same time delivering a professional, helpful, quality service and assistance before, during, and after. after. So there's no organization in Nigeria. You know, yesterday I was actually tweeting. Uh, I tweeted yesterday uh, that people should tell me, <laughs> people should tell me which organization or which company uh, treats them well. That whether they have a good ser customer service or bad uh, customer service, you know. And I've been getting a lot of tweets that I will take, uh, of course, in the course of the interview. But majority of the tweets, of course, did tell me that we've not even started yet. Do you think that we know how important customer service is here in Nigeria? Because like I said earlier on, not just even in private sector, even in public even institutions. Even in the public institutions. Yes. Too. I agree with you. So do we know the importance of customer service because no customer no service and uh, no business as no business well. no customer no business and uh, there's this saying customer is king <laughs> so, you know yeah have we scratched the surface at all that's what i said earlier that the awareness is very very low it's just now that a number of organizations are now seeing it as one major area that can affect the growth of their businesses positively. You know, because attention has not been given to that area. Is it, attention? Is it that we don't know or we refuse to do? Because sometimes you may know something, but you are refusing to do what you know. Well, is, it that, is it that as Nigerians or as owners of businesses, we don't know, we don't understand the, the, the basis for having good customer or client relationship? And that we refuse to do. I, I don't want to say we don't know or that the action. Okay, now, when I'm saying that attention has not been given to it, is this. Of course, a number of people know when you set up a business, mm -hmm. the business is working, the expected is that somebody comes in, patronizes you, and leaves. But when I'm saying that attention for customer service is still on the low side, is because a number of business entrepreneurs have not considered training their employees on how to develop good customer service strategies. And until, you, you see, until you are trained, until someone mentors you and tells you that this is how it should be, you may be there 
in that particular office and you are thinking you are doing it right, but you're not getting it right. Every customer that comes into any business premises has an expectation. And once his expectation meets with his experience, a perception is formed. But what we have today is that people that run businesses, they don't give any attention to the expectation or the experience of the customer. That's why you see that some businesses will start well this year. Give it maybe another 36 months. Before the 48 months, the businesses are rounding off. They are closing down. And you begin to wonder, this business was doing well, but how come this business is closing down now in the fourth year? The singular reason is because while the business was ongoing and it was going on well, no or little attention was paid to the customers that are sustaining the businesses. You know, customer service is something that if your employees or even you that owns the organization, if you are well trained, now something we tell, I mean, the, 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 the customer service training will help your employees to develop what we call a quality attitude. Attitude is something that you choose. You can either choose to be good, you can either choose to be bad. That has nothing to do with the person that owns the business. It has to do with the person that is, you know, interfacing with the clients or with the customers. You know, you enter a place and somebody gives you a smiling face, welcomes you, and is ready to attend to you at every point in time. You know, is providing and at the same time delivering a professional, helpful, quality service and assistance before, during, and after a customer's requirements are met. That means customer service starts even from the client, the moment is assessing your business premises. Yes, I was coming to that. Like as you are assessing AIT now, for example, yeah. even the, the first customer service should be the security post. The security guy. Yes, you get it right post, now. Yeah. So the the security people, they, even though they are all in security jackets and you know they have a job, but they should be able to attend to customers or to clients or even guests on programs well from the security post. From the security post, and that's 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 to also let everybody know that customer service is not limited to the person you put front in your desk, front desk. desk yeah. It has to do with everybody in the organization. We are talking about. What experience am I going to have when I come into your business premises or buy your product or buy your services, or I'm using your product or using your services? It's all about the experience. When I have a good experience, then I can always return back again. And that's, those, those were the things, I mean, that's part of the things I was trying to, you know, enumerate to you just some few minutes ago. You know, we also let people know that Every customer that comes is coming with a mind frame of a reaction. So for you that you are going to attend to the customer, you must also know how to respond to the customer. Now, you know, from, from what you're saying now, it means that businesses should have trained customer service personnel, isn't it? For those that are working in different businesses, it could be a hair salon, for example, it could be a big multinational. That means those, even from the front decks or from the security post, as we've said, yeah. they should be well trained in handling customers. In handling customers. Should, should it be done formally? It, yes, it can be done formally, it can be done informally. You can, you can do in-house training for them so that you tailor the training towards the kind of operations that you're doing. And you can also probably send them out for open house training. Probably when some one or two organizations are organizing some, you can send them there. Or you can invite customer service experts to come into your organization, study your operations, and they'll be able to design a training scheme. You know, something about training is this. It helps you to know what to do that you are not doing. And it also helps you to put your hands on the job and be getting the results as expected. 
So training and retraining is very, very key when we're talking about customer service. Mm -hmm. And now, why I say it's very key is because experiences are, are, and we are gener I mean, we are, we, we're getting it on a daily basis. The experiences we had last year, they are different from the experiences now. So the manner of approach to solve those experiences is such that you, you, you need to continue to modify, you need to continue to study, and you need to continue to give quick response to each of them. You know what just came to my mind while you were talking now, in yeah. terms of customer's experiences? Yeah. Uh, customer's experiences would also mean that uh, whatsoever thing a customer, or when a customer comes to your business outfit or wants a service from you, Customer's experiences is equals to plus or minus money. Sorry for the formula I just created now. <laughs> you know, let me explain what I mean. Right. Yeah, experiences okay. of customers is equals to plus or minus money. That means you can make additional money from your businesses if your if your customers have good experiences. Yeah. They go out, they make referrals. What if they don't have good experiences? Is minus money. Minus your money. bottom line will be contracted. So that's my own formula this morning. E is equals to plus or minus money. <laughs> money. Okay, now <laughs> let, let me also quickly mm -hmm. react to that. Mm -hmm. You see, something that is very, very basic that everybody needs to understand is this. If I'm going to use my money to buy this pen, it's because I trust the producers of this pen. And I'm expecting that once I press it and I start writing with it, it's, you know, responding to me. Now, every business owner needs to know this. The moment trust is abused, I say it again, yeah. the moment trust is abused, you can no longer enjoy the patronage of those customers. And of course, the theme for this year's Customer Service Week is building trust. Building trust. Yes, that's the theme, for, that's the this theme for this year's Customer, customer service. service. You know, um, that's why I had to observe I had to take a look at it today on the show because I do know the importance of customer service in enhancing businesses, yeah. in making your businesses grow. To grow. Yes, and all of that because yeah. you may even have money and you put in your business, but you have good, you have a very bad customer service, you have a very bad client relationship, and your sh shop or your outfit will just be there. Will be there. Nobody patronizing you, nobody talking about what and what products you offer. You know, now, th there's this, um, this statement we all, always tell business owners. What determines your business success in future is customer experience. It's not about the quality of your products. Mm -hmm. It's not about the quality of your service. It's customer experience. Now, if you look at products line that are doing very well in the market, and you check probably their website, you see a lot of testimonials. Reviews. Reviews. Yes. You understand me? That someone that used it probably in Asia, in Europe, in Africa, in the North America, in the South America is writing about the product. And there's something about that that once you, you start reading something positive about a particular product, there is this inclination you have towards that product. So what, what other thing I can also say on this is that when um, business owners employ people, they must ensure that the people mm. have good product knowledge mm. or good service, the good knowledge of what that company is doing. Okay. Yeah. Um, just before we go ahead, let's, uh, let me quickly say that, of course, you can reach us. People are already tweeting. People are sending okay. messages already uh, you can tweet you can find and follow me on twitter at nancy Lo. you can also find and follow at uh, the show at um, of course money line with nancy money line ait on twitter and tell me what your experiences are of course in the spirit of customer service week let's let's reward companies that have good customer service by telling them oh i enjoyed your service i enjoyed your product and let's also there's reward and punishment let's punish companies and government <laughs> institutions that are not doing well in the spirit of customer service week of course this week is recognized internationally so that companies can begin to live up to their game and expectation 
when it comes to uh, customer service. Let me. Uh, uh, all right, before you go ahead, <laughs> in the spirit of the customer service week, <laughs> instead of punishing the the companies, the companies' organization that are not doing well, mm -hmm. I, I will put up a position that let's rather encourage them let's to go. embrace training. Training. Okay. You understand? Okay. Let, let me take his side, but yeah. still send me, and I'll read it. It's for me to tell the world what you feel all right, all right. Okay. let's f take a few comments um uh, let me start with olushagun olushagun says who is a customer we have internal and external customer yeah if government do not see civil servants as customers we have a problem mm. yeah well uh, okay you want to write down some so that yeah. you can respond uh, yes all right my info says Union Homes has held and freezed our fixed deposit for over 10 years. They have a bad customer care service. All right, Emmanuel says, with all the network schemes, I always decline, but MTN always finds a way to deduct. I am tired because we are not protected by laws. We also need to look at laws that, yes. pros uh, that, that protect customer service. I know we have consumer protection CPC, isn't it? Yes, yes that, pro, uh, that protects. Console. Yes, that pro, uh, protects customers. Yeah. I think I don't know if they had anything to do this week, but but uh, we should also take a look at laws that protect customers. Okay. Um, Chukuma says, kind of had it up to my teeth with them. That's uh, I'm gradually pulling out. But Zenit Bank deserves kudos. Okay, it's my own to read it out. Uh, Dele says, um, Madam Nancy, your program. Money line with Nancy and Focus Nigeria on AIT appeal to most Nigerians. Thus, both programs render good customer service. <laughs> Thank you. Which is a plus to you. Which is a plus to me. Thank you very <laughs> much. I can see that coming. You. Thank you very okay. much. That is Money Line with yeah. Nancy and Focus Nigeria. So, my colleague Benga, they say we are rendering good customer service. All right. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, Emmanuel says, MTN, mm, I shouldn't read this. MTN, he's not happy with MTN. Let's put it that way. Um, still coming, many comments coming through. Uh, let's take this. Com complaints, complaints box Nigeria has actually tweeted a whole lot uh, uh, to me. Access Bank, of course, is also being called, but Access has tweeted me right now. Okay, please confirm more details getting from the customer. So I think what we are doing today, <laughs> what we are doing this morning, is, <laughs> is yielding it's fruit. Reactions. Yes, it's raising reactions. <laughs> and it should raise reactions in the spirit okay. of customer service week. So just quickly respond. Keep them coming, keep them coming. All right. Now, part of um, what we you know, teach people during the training is the internal and the external customers. customers. Okay. These two customers are very, very important. The internal customers, let me take for example, maybe money line. You're working with your colleagues here. The people you are working with are your internal customers. Now, the way you communicate between one another will help the external customer to understand what you are all about. You see, if there are divisions in between the internal customers, when a customer comes in, you will see that instead of passing a good message across, a wrong perception is formed. Now, another thing is this. Every internal customer is important. Just like you asked me that how will I rate the securities as I was coming mm, to AIT this mm, morning. Mm. Yes, I will give them a fair, I mean, a pass mark that the guys, at least I saw smiles on their face. Oh, did they smile? Oh, tell they me did now smile. so that we can also they encourage. Yeah, tell me. Yeah. So it's not just other points. If, if we have things to do, as at least you were a customer this morning. Yes. So you tell us. So the security, were they nice to you? No, the securities were nice. Okay. Okay. The guy smiled, and the first thing after he smiled was, oh, good morning, sir. Okay. And, and they didn't know who you were. They didn't. They never knew. Mm -hmm. they, you know, anybody can just walk, walk into in, this place. Yeah. He, he didn't even know what I was coming Come for. to talk about, yeah. And those were actually part of the things I was also checking. Really? You understand, as okay. I was coming in. Coming, so yeah. every internal customer, even your cleaner, mm -hmm. is also important. Now, let me share this with you. Sometimes ago, I think in the early 90s, when the recession in the US was still on then, there is this particular store, and they, they employed a guy called John. John is just a bagger. The guys that packs, you know, your groceries or your things at the cash points and bags it. Now, every time that John bags whatever you buy, he has this small piece of paper 
that he, he wrote himself, not from the management. Mm -hmm. He wrote himself. John wrote it. And John put it there. Thank you for patronizing us today. Your day is blessed. We expect to see you next time. And it happened that every time a number of people will go and they will like, oh, return back to the store wanting to receive a message from John. John, if you look at the hierarchy in that organization, a bagger will be on the lowest hierarchy. Mm -hmm. But because that particular store take internal customer very important, now John is able to help with the little he was doing to increase the growth of the place. So every internal customer is important and we should be able to develop good communication skill, the use of positive language amongst ourselves so that when external customer comes in, they have a good perception. Mm. Yeah. Well, tell me if this language is bad, this sentence. Because when you go abroad, you see the way people relate to you, okay. even when you want to buy something. Uh, they would ask you, please, what can I do for you? Or may I help you with something? Yes. But here in Nigeria, you come. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> even <laughs> I'm like, I'm even, even from you. <laughs> yes. You, you, are, you be like, what do you want? Without a smile on your face. I'm not saying some don't do that. Like, what do you want? In a very stern voice and all of that. We do also know that some customers can be, you know, they can breathe on your neck and all of that. Do you have, do you see anything wrong with that language? When you go abroad, like you just cited America right now. Yeah. Please, may I help you with something? Exactly. In fact, even if you see an average American, you're just passing by, you lock faces. The, the person will just like smile at you, first of all, <laughs> without saying anything. Without saying you know? anything. Yeah, just smile yeah. at you and, you know, you feel good. But here in Nigeria, is the other way around. What's happening? Just the same thing I was saying. People have not learned how to use positive language. You see a lot of negative language, just like what you display. Hello, waiting, what, what can I do for yes. you? Yes. Waiting, bring you come. Cop. You understand? <laughs> yeah. And you know, if you. What do you want? What, what do you want? Mm. Okay, this is what I want. No, we don't sell this. Yes. Ha, so sharp reactions, negative. Now, if you look at those kind of communication, it's using negative language. And this is where business owners need to take a lot of caution. Because you are back there probably in your house or probably moving around looking for sales. And the person you put in your office is closing business for you, not opening business. So it all still boils down on attitude. Attitude dictates how you receive your customers. And everybody needs to take a, a very, very keen interest in, in, in this area. The use of positive language must be encouraged. Now, there is something you also mentioned that concerning the rights of customer. customers. Every yeah. customer has a bill of rights. The money I'm bringing to your store is my money. Whether I borrow it or whether it's my ad end money, I am the one bringing it to your store. So the bill of rights for every customer is that every customer must be given an opportunity to be heard. This is what I observed about your products. These are the things that I don't like. So the pushback should not be, no, 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 maybe you don't need to know how to use it. Now, let me say this. International best practice, there, there are ways to handle challenging situations, mm. which I have not seen in most organizations here, but I've seen them abroad. And that's why I'm encouraging the training that people should imbibe the training. Now, we call it the recovery process. Now, the first hour in that place is that you need to listen, receive the complaint and listen. Then the, the E, you evaluate. Okay. You understand yeah. me? Yeah. C. The then. C. I'm coming. Let me, let okay. me just get. Go through it quickly. Yeah. So that I'll be able to. The C, you communicate okay. what you understand about the problem that the person is telling you. Then the O, offer apologies. Okay, okay. You understand me now. Then the next V, 
you verify the information that the person has given to you. Then the next A, you examine those information and you give corrections quickly. Don't delay the corrections. If you need to talk to another person to help you out with it, immediately give it attention. Then you now review the solution that you have provided for the customer, that this was your problem, mm. this is the solution that we have provided. And you now ask what exactly happened. Now asking what exactly happened to bring about the problem is the last thing you do. Okay. Let's just, we just have uh, three minutes to the end of the show. All right. Let's quickly take a few comments more because okay. a lot of comments are coming through. This topic is generating a lot of concerns. Uh, okay, uh, let's take this one from Chukuma. I said, okay, I had it up to my feet. Offer said, so GT Bank will be using your credit to ask you to rate their customer care when you call them. Why don't banks in Nigeria have toll-free lines? Mm. Don't they have? So I think some banks have. Some banks do have. Yes, yeah. some banks do have. Uh, Peace Ben Williams says, Airtel has the worst customer care service in Nigeria. So how long does it take to respond to complaints? 48 hours. Uh, Abi Shabi says, might be small, but proper accountability is required. Customer care agents probably laugh about disgruntled customers. As uh, simply says, for so much for customer care in Nigeria, DSTV Nigeria and Access Bank, you guys are carrying it out, carrying out as if nothing happened, yet you have my money. So much, so many, 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 many complaints coming in. Just in closing, what should customers do? Because that's why I'm doing this program today, that in as much as it's a business show, we want to encourage people to have businesses and all of that. But we should also encourage businesses, be it a small micro or even the big outfits, the, the, the blue chips, as it were, the big companies. What can they do to improve customer service in a few seconds? Because we'll end the show now. The first thing I will recommend is training and retraining of okay. the personnel that are working with you, even for the business owners. owners. Okay. Then after that, monitoring and supervision that that which was taught during the training is being done. All right. I yeah. think we'll leave it at that. Many thanks for coming on the show Thank today. you so very much. And at least for us, talking about customer service. It's customer service week this week, so uh, thank a customer too. You should, uh, they should also thank customers. Customers that come to buy goods or services, thank them. Many thanks for joining us. I've been, I've been speaking with Abiodu Ido, a customer service expert, of course, in the spirit of customer service week that ends today. It started on Monday. Monday. Uh, please join us again next week for another edition of the program. Many thanks. Be the best you can be and be the change that you want to see. I am Nancy Naji. See you all next week. Bye now.